Today's lesson is Mathematics 2611. Linear algebra, we are going to look at linear dependent and linear independent. This is lesson 103, let us start. Suppose we have two or more vectors. Those vectors, they construct a matrix A. Then we check if we can determine the determinant of that matrix and then we find that the determinant is equals to zero and then that means the vectors they are linear dependent and then if you find that the determinant is any number besides zero then it means those vectors are linear independent let us look at examples let us use the determinant method to check whether these vectors are linear dependent or linear independent. This is V1, V2, V3. V1 is equals to 1, 1, negative 1. V2 is equals to 1, negative 1, negative 1. V3 is equals to negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Then the matrix of this you can say B is 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Looking at the determinant of B, We know that this is plus minus plus. So we focus on the first column, the first row. So here we have one. The matrix that is left it's this, 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 this which is negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Minus. Then we focus on the second column, the first row. This number is 1. The matrix that is left is this one. 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. we focus on the last row i mean the last column first row we have this number remember it's plus minus plus since this number is negative then we're going to put negative here then we look at the matrix that is left it's this one From here we can quickly solve this. We have one, which is this one. We find the determinant of this two by two matrix. We know that is the multiplication of the two minus the difference of the diagonal multiplication. Negative one multiplied by negative one, we are going to get positive one. Minus negative one multiplied by negative one is positive one, so we have one here minus 1, 1 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 1, minus 1 multiplied by negative 1 is positive 1, minus 1, 1 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 1, minus 1 multi negative 1 multiplied by negative 1, we have positive 1, which should be negative 1. Then from here, this will be 0, 1 multiplied by 0, minus 1, this is negative 2 minus 1 negative 2 then we have 0 this multiplied by this is 2 plus 2 then we get that our determinant is equals to it's equals to 4 since the determinant is not 
equals to zero and this simply means that v1 v2 v3 linear independent that is how we actually determine whether vectors are linear dependent or linear dependent using the determinant method for our next example prove that v1 v2 v3 are linear linearly dependent I will leave this for you. That's it for this lesson video. This is Bahula SJ. Thank you very much.